it's not bad for you. Prove it or shut up, please. People's lives are at stake. Vegan hating Joe Rogan just hosted Jenny Kleeman on his podcast. In her new book, Sex, Robots and Vegan Meat, Jenny describes humankind's desire to circumvent potentially catastrophic problems with shiny new products. As Kleeman puts it, rather than dealing with the cause of a problem, we invent something to try and cancel it out. We know that the meat industry is cruel and environmentally toxic, and even hunting can lead to zoonotic diseases such as Ebola and AIDS, but apparently that's not enough to get us to change our ways. Now did Joe have Jenny on to try and improve his knowledge base, or did we think that this was going to be another hit job on veganism? Hmm, like we really need to ask. Let's talk about <laughs> vegan meat. I want to talk more about yes. that because uh, I've, I've, I've always found the vegan substitutes to be very disgusting and weird. How many of them have you actually tried, vegan hating Joe? Not very many, and not very recently either, I'd wager. In fact, I'd bet my life on it. Now, I don't eat them because I know that many are just as unhealthy as the corpses that they try to emulate. But the general consensus is that many are indistinguishable nowadays. Weird because... This is a thing that you don't like. It's not that vegans don't like to eat meat, it's just that they understand that personal enjoyment does not entitle us to take someone's very life. The same as how most of us enjoy sex, but we know that it's wrong to have sex with someone else against their will, and therefore, we wouldn't contemplate it. You could have this fake burger that's actually terrible for you. Yeah, because beef burgers are so healthy with their sat fat, cholesterol, trans fats, heme iron, endotoxins, and heterocyclic amines actually worse for you than real beef. Show evidence or shut up. I've always found that to be so weird because I feel like if you do veganism correctly, it's, it's great to have vegetable dishes that taste good, but shouldn't they be vegetables? If you want to eat healthily like me, then yes, that's exactly what I do. Again though, Joe, many vegans used to enjoy eating meat, so it's nice for them to have a substitute. It's the cruelty they're against, not the taste. If they don't care about their health, what's wrong with them eating that? Stop sticking your nose in. And the vast majority of these products are not even eaten by vegans. They're eaten by omnivores who want to lessen their environmental impact and the amount of animal suffering they cause. I'd like to say that I can't understand why you're not on board and you're giving these childish, bull red herring arguments. I'd like to say that, but of course I know the very obvious truth. You can't stand the idea that veganism is good, because that would make you a bad person. If you're a cannibal, and you're like, can we all agree cannibalism is bad? Yes, we can. <laughs> but why, Joe? I thought that you said it's okay to eat others for meat. Ah, that's right. In this instance, you could become the meat. So all of a sudden, you can see how wrong it is. <laughs> hypocrite. We all know what a burger is. It's ground up meat. Not the choicest cuts, you understand. Mostly eyeballs, lips, and assholes. They all come down to a, a particular view of human nature, which is that human beings are incapable of change. You speak for yourself, love. Millions of vegans prove that to be very wrong. That human beings should be eating less meat because it's bad for our bodies. Ooh, Joe's not gonna like that. It's bad for the planet, enormous contributor to carbon emissions. Yep, yeah, he's not gonna let this go. Antibiotic resistance. Joe getting triggered in three. Water pollution, water wastage. Two. Land wastage, it's a disaster. One. You know, the, the argument of meat being bad for you, most of those arguments are epidemiology. It's mm. not meat being bad for you. It's usually that the people that eat meat are eating a lot of other too. They're usually eating French fries and drinking soda, and th these there's a lot of contributing factors. Cool story, bro. Unfortunately for you, there's a lot of better data, too. This one paper cites 343 studies proving irrevocably that elevated serum LDL caused by eating animal products is an independent risk factor for causing heart disease, our number one killer. They include meta-analysis of prospective cohorts, randomized trials, and Mendelian randomization studies. You know, the very best top-tier stuff that can't be denied. If anyone cares about their health, the link is in the description if you want to go and check it out. If you'd rather stay in the dark and eat yourself to death, for God's sake, don't look! There's no one who's shown a study, people who eat grass-fed, grass-finished beef, and, and organic vegetables only. 
over a period of X years, what are the results? While that is true, the opposite is also true. There's no studies proving it healthful. So why would you gamble with your life? I'll tell you why, Joe. You don't care about your health. If you did, you wouldn't be drunk, stoned, or smoking cigars half of the time. No, put simply, you like the way that dead bodies taste, and you have no compassion for your victims. I guarantee well, you, it's they, they would be they, healthy they, humans. I beg your pardon, Joe. Did I just hear you right? You're guaranteeing that people eating a certain type of corpse, because it has another like 1 or 2% omega-3 over the standard corpses, yet still the same sat fat, trans fats, and cholesterol, would be a helpful thing to do over many years? A minute ago, you pointed out how we have zero evidence, yet you are certain. Emotionally driven much? Where's your objectivity? And would you dare to bet your wealth if it came down to it? Or are these cheap throwaway words? Hey, you're pretty well off. I believe you just earned a hundred million dollars from Spotify. Put your money where your mouth is and prove the vegans wrong. And if you can't prove us wrong, then donate the rest of your money to nutritionfacts.org so they can bring everyone the truth about health and nutrition because, well, you seem to really care about it. I mean, I need, would need to go and look at the evidence base, but I do think there's quite a well-established link between overconsumption, and I mean overconsumption of meat. So like eating it every day, several times a day. I don't think there uh, is. You can think whatever you want, Joe, but it's the science that counts and the overwhelming preponderance of data is not on your side, my friend. I've, I've looked into it pretty look deeply. It no, you've not. You spoke to one or two self-proclaimed experts that showed you industry-funded cherry-picked studies that suited your bias, took those at face value, and looked no further. The real issue is, Human beings have eaten meat since we were human beings. And what? We've always eaten meat. This idea that all of a sudden meat is bad for you. Yeah, Joe, our ancient ancestors used to die from infections or from the harsh environment long before the rampant atherosclerosis that would have been filling up their arteries could get them. It's not all of a sudden. It's never been good for us. We just never lived long enough for it to become an issue. Meat is protein and water and amino acids. Joe the nutritionist, ladies and gentlemen. In his simple mind, animal flesh just contains two things, protein and water. Then tacking amino acids on the end is a bit redundant. I mean, like a five-year-old knows that protein is made from amino acids, so there's no need to say that. But of course, it makes Joe in his mind, appear to be a little bit more intelligent than he is on the subject. Sorry, Joe, but yet again you left out sat fat, trans fats, cholesterol, carnitine, etc., 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 that cause many of the leading killers. But then again, of course, you're a comedian and not a nutritionist, which makes me wonder why you're so arrogant to give life and death advice to your viewers. It's not bad for you. Prove it or shut up, please. People's lives are at stake. What's bad for you is hydrogenated vegetable oils. Why is that? Trans fats. Animal products contain naturally occurring trans fats. Most animals are edible. Irrelevant. So when human beings were evolving, we ate whatever we could get a hold of. Most plants are inedible. Luckily, there are tens of thousands that are, and for the vast majority of humans, that's what made up the bulk of our diets. As witnessed, if you study coprolites or fossilized paleo poo. I mean, if you eat 150 grams of fiber a day, well, there's not much room for animal products, I can assure you. And when you're running around trying to figure out what you can eat and what you can't eat, the animals that survived are the ones that ate other animals. Most of us ate like 90% plants, so what's your point? But then I think you also have to be careful talking about it being natural to eat meat on the basis of the fact that as cavemen, that's what we did. It is natural, but that doesn't mean to say that, that meat, that's a reason why we should continue to... I'm talking to you as someone who is still a carnivore. I still eat meat now, even though I, I wrote this, this book where I set out the argument for why eating meat at the levels that we're doing now is completely unsustainable. So I like the way it tastes. But the thing is, there's a lot of the way that we live now, you know, it was natural for us to be naked and for us to die when we were 30. There's a lot that, there's a lot that was natural before that, that, that we don't necessarily live with now. And, and the point is, I think a lot of people are very defensive about their right to continue eating meat because we really like it. It's tasty. It's part of our culture. I mean, it's something that we don't want to let go of. What about that? A non-vegan talking about meat eating with a bit of honesty, openness and objectivity. You could have learned a lot, Joe, had you have been listening with the intent to hear and not just poo-poo everything she says and promote your anti-vegan agenda. Now click this.